uh, but in the early stages, uh, especially in the uh, development of Soyuz space vehicle, uh, most of the early uh, dockings are ach achieved by manual docking. Mm -hmm. uh, when the two vehicles are pushed to uh, within 100 meters, uh, the system will switch from an uh, automatic mode to a uh, manual mode, mm -hmm. uh, and the cosmonauts will control the vehicle and uh, perform the docking. Uh, and of course, uh, the most important thing is to dealing with uh, uh, all kinds of uh, difficult situations. For instance, such as the uh, sunlight in different directions and the failure of the sensors. So the astronauts must be trained properly for dealing with all kinds of conditions. Mr. Wang, uh, we know that before they uh, conducted manual uh, docking in space, they have simulators on the ground. Uh, what kind of a maneuvers uh, have they been simulated? Yes. Uh, firstly, uh, I want to uh, say some words in addition to Mr. Young's uh, saying. <coughs> uh, because the manual docking is very difficult, so in other countries, the crew must the crew have mm, been trained for 1,500 times about uh, five hours. Uh, the same, the same as the, the same as me. The, mm -hmm. same as the amount of training is almost similar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why? Why so many times an hours has been trained? Because mm, there are several difficulties in manual docking. Firstly, the astronaut must control must uh, control the relative positioning, the relative uh, volley velocity mm. and uh, relative attitude simultaneously and uh, correctly. Mm. And the, the method to control the, the space, the space uh, as we have seen in, on TV, they operate the position control handle mm. and attitude, um, uh, attitude control handle. <coughs> and they have to manage both handles Both simultaneously. simultaneously. <laughs> Their brains have been mm. working very hard. Yeah, where the information the crew can have is through the, the TV camera image on instrument display. Mm. The TV image is very complicated mm. because of the sunlight influence in the space. And there will be, there may be a flare of virtual image on the display, mm. on the image. So the astronaut uh, must be able to identify which is the real image and uh, which mm. is the virtual image. Mm. So, so there might be some op optical distortions of the images they see on the screen. So and they have to tell what is the real image. The, to provide to provide the the training the training uh, a a trainer a special task trainer named Randy Wu mm. and talking manual control simulator trainer is developed. It is used to train the astronaut how to approach approach to the Tiangong One and uh, finish the docking. Mm. Where is the simulator uh, this, on the ground? This simulator is located in astronaut center of China, mm. in Space City. Mm. So all the three astronauts have been working in this simulator yeah. uh, for manned docking. Yeah, yeah, yes. Mm. This simulator <coughs> consists of the re-entry module mm. of the Shenzhou Dai <coughs> and the necessary equipment Related to manual docking, mm. we, we, we simulate the TV imaging. Okay, yeah. and now let's turn to the re-entry module, the real re-entry module in space. The three astronauts are now ready uh, to perform the manually docking process. As we know, uh, this time around, astronaut Liu Wang is sitting in the middle because he is the controller this time of manual docking. According to the illustration of the flight control center, the uh, combination is orbiting the Earth just above the African continent now. 
and it, it is now in the tracking range of Tianyan 101 satellite. Well, you can see a split screen. They are making the final preparation of uh, before the uh, rendezvous and docking. Uh, uh, three minutes to go until the docking process takes place. The lower part shows the vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle data link is working now and uh, transfer data for each other. And uh, we can see uh, the split screen on the right hand side is the three astronauts uh, sitting in re-entry module on the left hand side is uh, the picture taken of the target vehicle Shenzhou, uh, of the target vehicle Tiangong-1. Mm, from the picture we can see two aircraft is pausing. Mm. Their relative distance remain about 140 meters. 140 meters from one another. Mm. Why at this time the spirit the Tiangong one is is paused? Why it does not approach to the to Tiangong one? Because <coughs> they are maybe waiting the proper condition mm. for many docking. So uh, they are one hundred forty meters away from one another. <coughs> uh, the solar panels, the the direction of the solar panels of Tiangong one. Uh, has been adjusted to a direction parallel to the uh, line between two vehicles to avoid the influence to the optical sensors according to the orders of the ground control station. Uh, but currently they are still obviously automatically approaching because Liu Wang isn't on the handle yet. Well, on the uh, 140 meter parking point, uh, the mode will be switched. And through the um, animation illustration here, we can see that on the left is Shenzhou 9. Uh, on the right is Shenzhou 9. And on the left is King 1, the target vehicle. They are transferring data yeah. and reading into one another. According to the flying program, the manual talking, when manual talking, the Shenzhou 9 is well, according to the command, they have transferred to manual control. The order to transfer to manual control has been issued. The display shows that the vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication is very normal. Manual docking is allowed. The order has been sent. This is a K, understands. This is a K instruction to finish to set the condition of the manual docking. After this instruction is setting, the manual docking process can be allowed and mm -hmm. can Shindou be carried out. The manual docking uh, position adjust is finished. Beijing understands. In, in light areas, so they have an uh, optical optical image of the vehicles for reference. Yeah. So this time they, they, they are ranged mm, at the whole point, 140 meter whole point. Mm. They wait for the wait for the proper condition. This is a challenge to the task because the sunlight is always a disturbance to the uh, optical sensor. Uh, usually in the angle area or the shadow, the use the light on the Shenzhou 9 spaceship will be more convenient for the optical sensor. Because it is in the right direction. The red line on the uh, lower part of the display is the orbit of Tiangong 1. Now you can see. Shenzhou 9 reports. Uh, the, uh, the, the handle uh, operation is uh, so far goes well. Translation handle 
is in normal operation. We have signals from the Beijing Aerospace Command Center, and we have uh, Mr. Tian Liping, uh, an expert from Astronaut Training Center, to join us. We have noticed Lo Wang has been in contact with the ground control and to check the function of the uh, two buttons on the handles. Now the left hand side handle has been uh, working normally, and right now he must have been trying the right one. Yes, and that's planned uh, in the docking uh, in docking process. And the only difference is we have to let Liu Wang to feel how he really likes to control the flight up on the space. Um, by trying it, he will have a real feeling of the operation. If he uh, reports a normal operation of the of both handle. It will be very uh, reassuring. Right now, we know that the right uh, handle has been in normal operation. Right now, the relative distance between the two vehicles is about 100 meters. Although Liu Wang is the major operator, the other two astronauts will be helping him. Right now, the Shenzhou 9 reports operation, operation in, in normality and uh, ready for manual docking. Jing Hafen will be giving some very important orders. And he says the start of the manual docking with the condition of normal operation of the buttons. This is a huge historical moment. The button located is on the handle at both sides of Liu Wang's seat. So far, the vehicle position looks uh, very looks fine. It only needs to adjust translations. 100 meters between the two vehicles. The one will be uh, will be operating very delicately. We, we can't even see how he's been uh, changing the handles. Manual uh, docking and operations is in normal uh, situation. 0.4 meters per second. Uh, velocities. Although this is a manual docking, it, it asks uh, cooperation from the ground to the space. Right now, the astronaut is to control the velocity of Shenzhou 9 to get approach to Shenzhou 9 within a velocity of point, uh, 5 uh, meters per second. Chang, uh, Chang Cheng asks for starts for a uh, laser ra radar. Right now, the astronaut has been trying to uh, sit at the same location of the two different signals. Now the astronaut has been looking at some uh, uh, some marking uh, parts of Tiangong One to make a uh, uh, first step adjustment of the two vehicles. Right now, 